off me already. God, that hurt like hell. I thought the poison would work instantly. Whatever, <laughs> at least it's working now. Come over here. Let me put you in cuffs. We're going to my basement. Don't worry, we're just gonna have a little talk, all right? <laughs> I've been waiting so long for this night. Just in time. I was wondering when you were going to wake up. <laughs> Look at you. Not so bold now, are you? Staring at the ground. Are you ashamed? I get it. How could a human get you, right? Let alone a woman. Must be hurting your little vampiric ego. Do you feel sick to the stomach? Like you want to throw up? <laughs> Bet you thought it was just another regular decular night. You see a precious snack, you get the snack. Nothing crazy, nothing extraordinary. Just meh, here we go. Drink I want, drink I will, whatever. Right? Look at me. You hear me? I said look at me. You really think I didn't think you could do that? What's handcuffs to such a powerful vampire? I had to implement a couple more layers of protection when you passed out. And believe me, they're very effective. In fact, don't even try it. You'll only hurt yourself like that. You see, I'm not just some random girl who got lost in the woods at night. The truth is, I've been hunting for you ever since the first time you've attacked. Since your very first victim. It was shocking. The locals thought we dealt with the problem of vampirism a long time ago. It was also interesting because you didn't do it in the old-fashioned way. You let your victims live to tell a story. I suppose that wasn't your intention, but still... What a rookie mistake. What kind of vampire does that? Are you some type of amateur? That's what I asked myself. But then, then I realized that something like that isn't possible. If you really were an amateur, other hunters would have already tracked you down. So tell me, what is the reason? A sense of guilt, perhaps? A good heart, maybe. Come on, you won't even agree to that. You're just gonna keep quiet because... Why? Because you got caught and you're embarrassed? This is not the time to be all prideful and stubborn. I know what you're thinking, but I'm not here to end you. I just want to talk. You know, like Hunter with the Hunted. You thought you were the predator, but tonight, you are the prey. The quicker you accept it, the quicker you'll get out of here. Yeah, well, I don't really care about keeping you locked inside. You are a vampire, and you are dangerous, but I still see a human in you. Deep down somewhere don't want to be like this. You have to, but you don't want to. That's the difference. It's pretty evident that you make a conscious effort to not cause your victims any more harm than is necessary for you to survive. You may not like to admit it before someone like me, but we both know you're a good man. You aren't brutal. You don't particularly take joy in hurting others. 
unlike the vampires we've had to deal with in the past. They didn't care. I've seen a couple massacres by then. It is unforgivable what they've done. They would go after entire families with absolutely no care or hesitation. It wasn't to satisfy a hunger. It was to spread fear. To show us that we stand no chance. That we shouldn't try hunting for them. You're not like this. Not even a little bit. <laughs> that's what you think, yeah? What if I told you that's not the only reason I'm saying all this? Maybe I know something else about you. Maybe I've been spying on you. Oh, you think that's funny. Why? You think you're so good, huh? If that's the case, then what are you doing here right now? Shouldn't you be free, preparing for the next meal? That's what I thought. And besides, I've been observing you from a distance. I'm not stupid. I know all about your incredible senses. I've studied vampires. I know what you're capable of. I thought I made it clear when I let you break the handcuffs. You're dealing with a professional here. Huh? What do you mean, what's the real reason we're here? <laughs> oh yeah? You think so? Then you tell me. Since you're just so smart. I'm waiting. You know... It's interesting. I have weapons on me. Nobody knows we are here. You can't free yourself. But yet, you're still this bold and arrogant. If it's not arrogance, then what is it? Oh, experience. Right, right. I'm not a good girl. You got it all the way wrong there, buddy. You think because I didn't do anything to you, I still couldn't if I really wanted to? Believe me, without hesitation, it would be like nothing. You're right about one thing, though. I didn't kidnap you to take you to the authorities. I don't want to end you either. I have a proposition. Let me become your daily blood supply, and you will leave other people alone. That way, nobody gets hurt, and nobody will try to find you. No, it's not some silly dream about becoming the people's hero. I just want to do it. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird like that, or maybe I'm crazy. Does it matter, though? There's no trick. Well, if I free you, isn't that already telling enough? Why would I risk it, if I truly cared about taking you down? <sighs> Look, I... I know a lot about you. I think we have a lot in common, and... I think we would be a great team, that's all. Well, not like that. I'm talking about something like a relationship. Like a couple or something. What's so funny? And why doesn't it make sense? Well, have you tried it before? To know it wouldn't work out? Okay, I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but... During... All this time, when I was thinking of a plan on how to hunt you down and then get rid of you, I realized that I can't do it because, because I, I love you. 
No, don't laugh. Please, I'm serious. I think this can work out. I thought quite a lot about this. And I know we don't even know each other, like, on a personal level, but we can fix that, right? I know I was saying some words before, and I had a mean face and all, but I just thought I would impress you. You know, show you that I'm not just some fragile little woman. I wanted you to see that I can fight for mine just like you, and... You think I'm stupid, don't you? Wait. Really? You think we can try? Thank you. You've made a good choice. You won't regret it, I promise. I will untie you now. What? Why shouldn't I? Well, I did say I would be your blood supply. If you have to, I'm okay with it. I don't believe that. You won't hurt me. You will try your hardest to not lose control. Okay then, so be it. I don't care. If it happens, it happens. It will mean that I never deserved any love. Not in this life, at least. I had one chance, one hope, and it simply wasn't meant to be. I'm used to that anyway. That's how things always go. I feel like it's going to be different, but if not, then... So be it. Oh my god, I'm feeling dizzy. It hurts so bad. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm okay. I just need to... I, I have to sit down for a minute. It's not your fault. Stop saying sorry. I went for this. Besides, pain wasn't the only thing I felt. I wouldn't go as far as saying I enjoyed that. But it wasn't all that bad. Oh yeah? You don't usually do it for that long? Well then, if you really feel bad, I guess I can accept the apology. In the bedroom, though. <laughs> oh, you don't understand. It's okay. Take me there and you will see.